Hi everyone, this is Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Wednesday Read Alouds. I post a Wednesday Read Aloud every Wednesday at 1030 and today we are reading Cat Kong, which is written and illustrated and pictures have been taken by Dave Pilkey. You may know Dave Pilkey from Captain Underpants. So Dave Pilkey is really fun and in this story he took a bunch of pictures of his pets. So he took pictures of his cat and his mice and he wrote a story around the pictures he took. So here's his story. Cat Kong. One dark and perilous night Three mouse explorers sailed toward a strange, uncharted island. Captain Charles Lindberger steered the tiny vessel, while Dr. Vincent Varman and his beautiful assistant, Rosie Rodent, looked on. There they are. If you can see, these are pictures of real mice on a drawn background. When they reached the island, the three explorers were astonished. A group of natives were performing an ancient ceremony, offering up a sacrificial can of tuna fish and repeating a mysterious chant. Hear, kitty, kitty, hear, kitty, kitty, hear, kitty, kitty, kitty. Suddenly, the island began to tremble. Boom, boom, boom. Crashing through the thick forest came the most frightening creature ever known to mouse kind, the mighty Cat Kong. Meowing and hissing ferociously, the colossal cat took three giant kitty steps and tripped over the tuna can. Kong. Cat Kong bumped his head on the ground and was knocked out cold. I like the look on his face there. He is knocked out cold. <laughs> if only we could bring him back to the city with us, said Dr. Varman. No, Rosie uh, wrote it and re replied. No, it would be wrong to take this creature away from its natural habitat just to satisfy our scientific curiosities. Forget science, squeaked Dr. Varman. Think of the money we could make. So the three explorers wrapped Cat Kong in a giant burlap sack and tied him tightly to the ship. As they sailed back to the great city of Mausopolis, they took special care not to let the cat out of the bag. Several days later in Mausopolis, Dr. Vermin unveiled his discovery to the sold out crowd. Ladies and gentle mice, he squeaked, I give you Cat Kong, the nine-lived wonder of the world. The audience cheered, yay! Cat Kong, however, was not amused. The towering tomcat hissed and meowed wildly. Don't be afraid, Dr. Varman told the crowd. There's no way the creature can escape. I repeat, there is no way this creature can escape. Well, uh, actually, I could be wrong about that. Uh-oh. Soon the city of Mausopolis was in a panic. The ferocious feline tore through the streets, knocking down buildings, ripping out power lines, and generally causing quite a ruckus. Captain Charles Limberger rushed off to organize a counter a counterattack team while the beautiful Rosie Rodent watched the destruction from her apartment window. Help! cried the engineer. The cat's got my train! Help! screamed the butcher. The cat's got my tongue! Help! screamed Rosie. The cat's got me! Soon, the crazy cat was headed straight for the top of the Romano Inn with the beautiful Rosie tailing behind. There's Rosie. A fleet of airplanes quickly 
flew into action, but their weapons were useless against the meowing menace. It seemed as if nothing could stop this terrifying Cat Kong. Then suddenly, a squeaky ray of hope rocketed through the thick clouds of gloom and despair. Captain Charles Lindberger to the rescue. There he goes. Captain Lindberger had a plan. He swooshed so close to Cat Kong and held out a red package tied with gold ribbon. Hey, Cat, he shouted. Look what I got. He circled again and again, shouting, You'll never guess what's inside the package. Cat Kong stared intensely at the red package. While each passing second, the colossal kitty's interest grew and grew. Finally, Cat Kong could stand it no longer. He had to find out what was inside that package. With one swift paw, the puzzled pussycat reached out for the red package and whoa, 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 lost his balance. Oh, kaboom. When the dust settled, a crowd of mice gathered to view the final resting place of the mighty Cat Kong. He's fallen, said one. And he can't get up, said another. Well, the said the chief of police, it looks as if beauty killed the beast. No, said Dr. Varman. As, it, as he looked sadly into the glowing horizon, it was curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. The end. <laughs> nice listening, everyone. So if you notice all through, Dave Pilkey has taken pictures of his animals and put them together. If you look at the crowd, it's a whole bunch of the same mice over and over again. So I think he only has three mice all together but he's taken the pictures of his animals and he's made a story. Do you think you could do that at your own house? Do you have any pictures of your animals or even could be a picture that you have of yourself? Can you take your pictures at home and make a story around them? I'd love to hear about it. Well, you have a great day. Happy Wednesday and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.